When a 5'10 kid goes airborne like that, you sit up and take notice. But there's a lot Will Bynum does that's worth watching. How about the sweet look away and the deuce? You want crossover, you got crossover, and a tray to go with it. And you say you want some D? Yeah, he's got that too. Not bad for a kid who a lot of folks figured was just too small when he showed up at Crane three years ago. Did you wonder when you were 5'6", am I ever going to be tall enough to really go anywhere? No, I never worried about my height. Yeah. I just figured then I do the little things that separate me from everybody else. I watch these guys steal their moves and add it to my game. Little things Will picks up from studying scores of videotapes he and brother Joe have compiled over the years. Will takes his hoops seriously. Yeah, okay, this one is the one they just won. Well, that was down in Quincy, Quincy right? Quincy, yeah. Right. Will's mom knows all about her son's trophy collection and his dedication to the game, a trait she first spotted years ago when Will insisted on dribbling a basketball everywhere he went. And I said, Will, put that ball, you know, put the ball down. And he, he, he just was adamant about it, you know. And <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't, you know. Now I see. <laughs> okay. I kind of figured that I got the ability to be something in the sport basketball. So I'm gonna work hard and try to get all of my abilities out of me so I can succeed and of course take care of my family. To this point, seven of ten shooting, four of five. Four. Livingston, a three-point shot, too strong, weak side rebound, pulled down by number 33, and almost oh, a flying one-hand dunk by Will Bynum. Whoa, where did that come from? Looked like he was just going to go lay it in, and the next thing you know, Superman's taking off. That got the biggest buzz of the day from this crowd at the pavilion. Wow.